Good, happy Monday, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my news report right here on the Riley King Network. Search for gunman after Washington Sika man shot at home. Let's take a listen to this video from CBS This Morning. Suspect who opened fire on a Sikh man of Indian descent after allegedly saying, go back to your own country. It happened in Kent, Washington, about 25 miles south of Seattle. The Sikh Coalition, a national civil rights group, wants a federal hate crime investigation. Nerea Villarreal looks at how the attack is similar to the shooting of two Indian men last month. Nerea, good morning. Well, good morning. The FBI is also involved in the investigation. The recent violence is not only a cause for concern for Indians living here in the U.S., but also for those traveling here from abroad. Police say 39-year-old Deep Rai Singh was working on his car in this suburban Seattle driveway when he was approached by a man described as white, six feet tall, and wearing a mask covering the lower part of his face. Singh told neighbor Susan Levi what the gunman said before opening fire. I told him to go back home. Singh, who is now recovering, was wearing a traditional turban headdress at the time of the shooting. His family believes he was targeted. It is a hate crime. It's still a shock for him and it's still, still a shock for us also, for the whole community. This incident is similar to the shooting of two Indian men in Olathe, Kansas last month. Two down, pinch on with the chest. Police arrested this man, Adam Purrington, after witnesses say he yelled, get out of my country, before opening fire, killing one of them. In a series of tweets on Sunday, the Indian embassy said diplomats have raised concerns with the U.S. government over the attacks against the Indian community. Already, the violence has caused some Indians to reconsider travel plans to the U.S. New Delhi software developer Azim Khan is declining a job offer in the United States. Even though the killings may be isolated incidents, my parents are very worried. Yeah, okay. Singh's family okay. says they're standing together as a community and as citizens. No American, real American can say those kind of words. This is the time we hold each other's hand and we feel like this is our home, this is our country. Governor Jay Inslee issued a statement on Sunday. He called this incident hateful. He says it is a pattern that is echoing anti-immigrant, anti-Semitic, and anti-Muslim attacks in the state of Washington and across the country. Gail? Thank you, Maria. Very glad that man is going to be all right. Terrible story. Thank you very much. Okay, and there you go on that report. And that does it for my news report right here on the Riley King Network. Have a great rest of your Monday, everyone. Goodbye.